Hello, hello, and welcome to the Ultimate Tarot Guide Tutorials. These episodes are going to take a look at each tarot card, going over the correspondences for each card found in my book, The Ultimate Tarot Guide for Your Personal Tarot Journey. This book is available at Amazon in print and Kindle. This book takes you on an inspirational, magical journey into the realm of tarot. We're going to leave traditionalism and mediocrity behind. We're also going to open doors and expand horizons to reveal amazing connections with the tarot and its intimate influence on our world. As you make your way through this tarot study, you will develop a very unique and personal connection with the tarot and a deeper understanding of yourself. The deck I will be using throughout this tarot study guide is Vintage Tarot. I recommend that any deck you use be closely associated with the traditional Rider White deck with the major arcanas and suits found therein. So, with that said, grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair. We're going to sit around the table and explore each tarot card. We're going to explore intuitive reading and we're going to learn how to tap into our intuitive side and listen to our clairs. And we'll pull more from a tarot card than you ever thought possible. With that said, off we go. This is episode 16. Our card for today is the Page of Cups. The elemental connection is water. Key words for this card are quiet, romantic, conniving, loyal, psychic, immoral, hedonistic, highly sexual, tender, affectionate, insensitive. <laughs> Surprisingly, sometimes this page of cups can actually be insensitive. So with that said, as I'm looking at this card now, this page always is offering something to everyone they come across. It's, it's if they meet you and they want to be your best friend forever. If they date you, they want to be the love of your life forever. It's like they're always searching for this relationship, this connection that's actually bigger than life. This character also tends to be super, super psychic, which kind of, and empathic. And, and with, between the two of those, it kind of surprises me when they also tend to be insensitive. And I'm not sure, psychologically, where that stems from, except that there are many Page of Cups who are narcissists in training. <laughs> they are, they're young, and they are just, they're just forming this incredible psychological I don't even know what to call it. Uh, you'll find that many of these pages are very idealistic. If they're in love, it should be the biggest love ever. They have a, a very kind of a warped fairy tale movie-like attitude towards certain um, relationships in life and certain emotions and certain connections, which is all bigger than life. So this, this character tends to be um, a wee bit a wee bit disappointed by, by how some of these things in life actually are, the reality of it all. This, this is one page that really has an issue and a problem with the reality of it all. Now let's get our tarot journals out. I'm going to get my tarot journal out, get my pencil in hand, and let's look at this card. The one thing that sticks out for me right now is the fish looking at the page of cups. He's got his little head stuck outside of the cup the page is holding. For me, I, uh, this gives me the feeling of someone who, who eventually at some point in life has to look at something very clearly and with an uncluttered mind and come to terms with something. This is such a, an unrealistic, fairy tale believing character that that so often they're disappointed by reality and reality is going to stare them in the face so it might take this character a few years and growth and some maturity um, before they really get leveled off and are are at their best 
With that said, I am delighted to have introduced you to the Page of Cups today. Uh, get your journals out. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? What do you intuitively just know about this character? And why don't you get that down in your tarot journal? And until the next time, and until the next video, bye-bye.